Hey, what's up everybody? It's just a guy and a girl here on another random adventure and today we are at DCA. We're here for the festival holidays, the food tasting portion of it. Yay. So we're gonna get our card, our tasting card, and we're gonna check out a couple of items. Anyways, uh, come along, let's see uh, what we find. Let's taste the food, see what it's like. Here we got the reimagined beef brisket Wellington. Ooh, that in a Mickey yummy. head shape. In a Mickey head shape. Hidden Mickey. Cheers. Don't pick the ear. Whoa. Yeah. This is so good. It's so flavorful. Oh yeah. The sauce, the meat, the bread is is super soft. Got these little chunks. Actually, pretty big chunks. Great way to start off this holiday food festival. This is so good. But you don't have to buy, get everything with your tab. If we wanted to try this again, we could use our tab, or we could purchase it ourselves. And when you do, when you purchase it yourself, a la carte, you can actually do mobile ordering. You don't have to wait in line like you do when you have when you use your tab. Stop number two was at the Carnitas Esquite station. However, I wasn't supposed to order this right now. <laughs> this wasn't what we were going to be trying right now. So in my mind, this better taste like some chicken wings because that's what I was told I was going to eat. So we're going to try this, guys. So we were supposed to get the, the spicy holiday chicken wings with like cranberries or something, but I made a, a boo-boo and I got this instead. So let's try it. Let's see. Tell me you're not mad at me for ordering this. And it has a kick. It has a kick. It's spicy. Wow. Oh. Like little, at the end, like you know, I feel it. There's some little crunchy things in here. I'm not sure what those little crunchy things are, but they're really good. It's got cheese, but it's not very cheesy. Goodness, thank goodness. And it's got bits of corn. It must be the crumbs because it has mac and cheese. Esquite, carnitas, mac and cheese. This is good. If you like mac and cheese, if you like esquite, if you like carnitas. I'm not a huge fan of mac and cheese, but this, this is, is good. good. I'm very happy with this. I forgive you. Two for two, we hit. Back to back. Only thing I'm, that I don't like about it is that I wish it was more, a bigger portion. Let's touch on that for a minute because if anybody's ever been to Not. Knott's Berry Farm, when they do their tastings, the portions are like big. They're like... Or they have been. Hopefully full meals. It continues, yeah. Full meals. And um, these are truly little tastings. As you can see, it fits like in my hand. So these are like true tastings as opposed to like full meals where Knott's does. So there's a variation there. But um... But in a way, it's cool because we it's share good. it, so you still get a taste of it. But I think we can eat more now. Because right. normally, like I said, enough we can only do maybe like three because you get super full right away. Okay, <laughs> this is tingling right here. I think I need a, a beverage, an adult beverage. Where's that a, at? I need a Coke. All right. All right, gotta go get a drink. This is how we do it. Double fist? Double fist. Which one tastes better, the left or the right? I don't know. What are they, both Coors Light? The Pacifico. Oh, okay, both Pacifico. Perdón. Oh. Perdón, me. <laughs> the line's too long to get one beer, so I have to get two. Oh. Darn. Sacrifices you make. We got the torta al pastor over here and 
and then we got the pozole. Both of these are from the tasting menu. So this is the tasting portion size, I guess. So we got the pozole over here, the full portion. I asked for a beer, I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna complain though. So this is the pineapple tres leches dessert. So this is a mezcal sour. I thought I ordered a dos equis something or other. So today she hasn't been having a good day uh, as far as when it comes to ordering. She went to go get chicken wings, came back with esquites. She went to go get a beer, came back with a mezcal drink. Let's try. Taste the mezcal. Yes, but not a whole lot. Really? There's a lot going on. Like not here. in a bad way, but you, you get the flavor of the mezcal. Yes, mm. but not a lot, which I was worried about. This is really good. Wow, very surprised by this. And it has the tahini which I don't like, um, but it's very light. Okay, we also got the, a big bowl of pozole. Uh, so we'll see because they already give it. With the condiments, usually we put a bunch of oregano and lime and stuff. It's good. This is good. So you can tell us it's made with Las Palmas because it, or that, a, it has that distinct um, flavor. That type of uh, salsa. They did the same thing with the tamales that we tried. Um, the sauce they poured over. A few weeks, uh, a few months, a couple, a month back. Yeah. Which. He never posted that video. But anyways, we won't go there. It's it good. Is good. I could just use a little bit more spice. Definitely recommend it, because it is good. But don't be expecting your grandma's pozole, or Javier's pozole. <laughs> but if you are in the mood to try them, it's good. Bring your own uh, chile and your little menudo mix. Like, I got some tahini in my bag. What? Really? Yeah. So I went to ask if there's anything spicier that we can add to it, you know, the Mexican in me. Uh, they said no, the only thing they have is the hot sauce that they have in packets. The other thing they have is like a molcajete sauce, but he says it's not spicy, it's more for the chips. So you don't have really an option to make it spicier, again, unless you bring your own stuff from home. This is the, what is this, the tres leches? This is the pineapple tres leches cake roll. <laughs> wow, there is. Oh it's so good, it, it, it's gonna make you dance. It's gonna make you do your happy dance. <laughs> Pineapple, cinnamon, the milk, the buttercream, the everything that's in here. It tastes like a soft churro with pineapple. Oh my god, it is so delicious. Definitely. Cake spice. This is gonna mess my taste buds with my mezcal and my pozole. Oh, you really taste the pineapple, huh? Yeah. It has that tartness. Mm. We should start doing this. Wait, did you just take two bites? Because in the first one, I wasn't sure. But, but this is the rule that you don't take two unauthorized bites. Well, then why you give me this thing? <laughs> take your thing back. One bite? Okay. Two bites? No, no. Unless they don't like anything. Alright guys, so that's it for today. We're calling it a night. Definitely love this uh, festival of holidays. We had three things today. Well, four. And everything was a hit. Anyways guys, if you're still here, remember to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.